you so much. And thank you to all my friends and family who came from near and far. And thank you to JWI. This has been an incredible couple days, and I really appreciate it. In 1997, I was visiting the University of North Carolina with Michael Jordan. Michael had endowed an institute for family and children, and the keynote speaker was Leah Rabin, the widow of Israeli Prime Minister Yitzhak Rabin. Michael was introduced to Mrs. Rabin, and she began to speak to her Mossad agents in Hebrew about how tall Michael was and how she wants to invite him to Israel. And I began to interpret her remarks to Michael. And Mrs. Rabin's jaw dropped, and she looked over at me and said, how do you know Hebrew? I said, I, I told her that my mother had grown up in Israel. She was, had been part of a large Hasidic family in B'nai Brak, Israel. And she had left that life to come to the United States, married my father, who was a Holocaust survivor. And at this, Leah Rabin could only stammer, you know, B'nai Brock, Hasidic family? What is a nice Jewish girl like you doing working for Michael Jordan? <laughs> it's a good question I sometimes ask myself. But the answer is that I was in that role, and indeed I am the person I am today because of that young Israeli woman who sought a different path for herself and her daughters. I am who I am because of the choices my mother made years ago. Today was supposed to be a day for my mother, the woman I always watched. She would have been running around here collecting extra programs to bring back to all of her ladies in the synagogue and maybe a few centerpieces as well. <laughs> but almost six months ago, my mother passed away after a very quick an unexpected battle with cancer. When I began working for Michael, I was visiting my mother in Baltimore. She was so proud of me, and she started to introduce me to all of her friends as the woman who worked for Michael Jackson. <laughs> I had to pull my mother aside and say, no, it's, it's not Michael Jackson. And she'd say, it's not, it, it's not the singer? I'd say, no, it's the basketball player, Mom. <laughs> See, my mom didn't have a glamorous job, and many advanced degrees, and she didn't have many mentors like I did. But she was an Eshet Chayel, a woman of valor. And I believe each of today's honorees have one of those women in their lives, whether it be a mother, an aunt, or a grandmother. Today I teach my children, Josh, Noah, and Danny, who are here, to help others, because I watched my mother as she baked cakes for the sick or visited the elderly. I serve on the national boards of BBYO and Make-A-Wish and Keene because I watched as my mother led our sisterhood synagogue and Hadassah chapter. I keep kosher at home and I keep Shabbat because I watched my mother insist that above all else, family and traditions were sacred. I am so grateful for this extraordinary honor and I hope that as we celebrate the remarkable woman with whom I am so proud to be honored, that we pause to reflect upon the woman of valor in our own lives. Those like my mother, who in quiet but very powerful ways shaped our successes and taught us what's most important in life. Thank you.